Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm Zhang Hailian from China Manned Space Engineering Office. Um, now let me introduce the Chinese, China's Manned Space in 2011. The space belongs to our, our mankind, and the space exploration is our common dream. My report includes, includes three parts, uh, development history, Renewals and docking in 2011 future programs. In 1992, Chinese government approved the, the three steps development strategy. The first step is manned spaceship. The main task is to complete pre preliminary experiment manned spaceship engineering and to carry out experiments for space application. The second step is to build a space lab. We aim to master the technology of extravehicular activity and the universe and dockings of manned spaceship and spacecraft, launch space labs, and solve short-term maintained space application pro problems with a certain scale. The third step is to build a space station. Since 1992, uh, since 1999 to 20. 03, China carried out for unmanned space flight and three manned space flights. In 2003, China successfully accomplished the first manned space flight. This is Yang Li Wei, uh, the ast astronaut of, of China, who aboard the Senzu 5 spaceship made uh, carry out the first uh, manned space flight in 2005 china carried out the senzu 6 space flight mm, in 2008 china successfully accomplished the senzu 7 manned space flight astronaut dai gang carried out, carried out the first uh, extravehicular activity of china Senzu 1 to 6 achieved the goals of step 1 of China three steps development strategy. The four unmanned space flights and the three manned space flights marked China having preliminarily mastered the key technologies, including launch and re-entry, short-term residence, extravehicular activity, and its, its center. Now, now let's look at the universe and docking in 2011. The spacecraft rendezvous and docking will be carried out in November 2011. We aim to master the basic technology for continuable manned space activities. This is an imaginary picture of rendezvous and docking of Tengu 1 and Senzu 8. On September 29, 2011, Tengu 1 spacecraft has been launched into about 350 kilometers height low Earth orbit with an inclination of about 43 degrees. Perhaps you know, on August 18, 2011, Long March 2C launch failed to inject the SG 1104 satellite into orbit. Long March 2F and Long March 2C, the carrier rocket of Tiangong 1 and the SG satellite, respectively, belong to the same family. Investigation of failure. Differ, differs the launch time of Tiangong 1 from August to September. According to inf investigation, Lama to c attitude is out of control during the second stage flight. The connection between the engine 3 of Vernier engine and the server mechanism invalidates the launcher. After, uh, after adopting the measures, Lama H2F successfully sends Tiangong 1 to the orbit. Senzu 8 will be launched in November 2011, aiming to conduct the first unmanned rendezvous and docking experiment. Senzu 9 and Senzu 10 spaceship are scheduled to launch in the first half and second half of 2012. These two launches aim to master the technology of unmanned and manned rendezvous and docking through experiments. China's manned space project is composed of eight systems, 
space lab astronauts, space application, manned spaceship, launch vehicle, launch site, TT and C, landing site and its center. All these systems take part in the Reniverse and Docking experiment. The space lab system. The space lab, the space laboratory system is mainly responsible for the development of space laboratory, including the target spacecraft Tengu-1 with the function of Reniverse and Docking, providing a platform for space scientific, scientific experiments with maintaining a short-term basis and accumulating experience for, the, for development of space station. Tengu-1 is not only a target spacecraft of Reniverse and Docking, but also a simple space lab. Tengu-1 space lab consists of an experiment model and a resource model. The main design parameters are as follows. 3.35 meters diameter, 8.58 ton weight, two years lifetime. It can realize a astronaut medium term on orbit residence and long-term autonomous flight. During the Paris Air Show, China's manned space project received 300 IAF flags from Bernd Feldbacher, the president of IAF. These flags have been sent into space, carried in Tiangong 1 spacecraft. In next year, Chinese astronauts will take them back to the ground after implementing China's first manned rendezvous and docking missions. The 300 IAF flags were brought to International Space Station by a Swiss spaceship in December 2010 and took back to ground by a space shuttle in, 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 July, in June 2011. The next is astronaut system. The astronaut system is mainly responsible for selecting and training astronauts and conducting medical monitoring and providing support to astronauts during training and the flight tasks. An astronaut selection and training center has been set up in Beijing. Such spacecraft, such spacecraft born facilities as IAV and space suit and EVA space suit and personal life saving appliances have been developed. The space application system is mainly responsible for developing the space payloads in conducting the Earth and space environment observation, carrying out space scientific experiments such as space material, space lab sense, space mechanical gravity sense, and space astronomy. The manned spaceship system is mainly responsible for the development of Senzo manned spaceship, the first kind of manned space flight vehicle. Senzo spaceship consists of a propelling model, re-entering model, and orbit model. It weighs about eight tons can accommodate three occupants and dock with other spacecrafts. The launch vehicle system is mainly responsible for manufacturing rockets with high reliability and safety for the astronauts. The manned rocket can send the effective load up to eight tons into LEO. The launch side system is mainly responsible for testing and launching the rockets. The spaceship with payloads and providing the corresponding support conditions. The manned spaceship launch site of China is located in Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. The tracking, telemetry, and command and communication system is mainly designed for carrying out the measures of and control over spacecraft, a land, sea, space-based TT and C and C network has already been established which is consist of fixed TTNC stations, tracking ships, and uh, relay satellites. The landing satellite system is mainly responsible for the searching and recovering of land re-entry model and the rescuing of the astronauts. The main landing site is located in the middle area of Yunda, Mongolia, and a backup, set a, a backup site is located to the east of Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Furthermore, some landing zones of emergency rescue during the ascending phase and the orbiting phase have been set up on the land, as well as in three sea areas. The mission profile. T-1 
Chang'e One target spacecraft is launched into LEO using Long March 2F rocket and circulates into about three, 350 kilometers orbit. Chang'e One will lower the orbit altitude to about 344 kilometers to modulate phase at a time of 21 days before the Senzu 8 spaceship is launched. Long March 2F rocket delivers Senzu 8 spaceship to LEO. Senzu 8 spaceship conducts active rendezvous and docking with Tiangong 1, including long distance guiding fees, autonomous navigation fees, and docking berthing fees. During the flight, Tiangong 1 takes responsibility for the combination. Senzu 8 changes to the berthing mode. After the spaceship undocked and returned to the Earth, Tiangong 1 performs orbit raising burns into 370 kilometers. Circular orbit changes to long term operating managing mode. Tiangu 1 performs rendezvous and docking with Senzu 9, Senzu 10 spaceship. The astronauts perform space scientific experiments. After two years' flight, at the end of the Tiangu 1, we will perform, the Tiangu 1 will perform the orbiting burns and fall from the sky into the South Pacific. The third part is weighing and the future program. One or two space labs and some manned spaceship and cargo ships will be launched before 2016, preparing for building of space station. The first picture is space lab, the second is cargo spaceship, the third is manned spaceship. The space lab consists of an experiment model and a resource model as Tiang one the development, launch, and operation of space lab will solve the problems of space applications with a certain skill and medium term and short term maintained, preparing for building, management, and operation of the space station. Around 2020, the space station composed of 22 modules will be developed and launched, thus mastering the technology to build and operate combination models for near-Earth space station to acquire capability for astronauts to stay in space for a long time, to carry out space application and technological experiments of a large scale. Three models, including the core models, experiment model one and experiment model two, will be developed and assembled into a 16-ton space station in orbit. The manned space station will be operating at 340 kilometers to 450 kilometers orbit altitude and 42 to 43 degree inclinations. With 10 year designed lifetime, it can accommodate three astronauts for long term residence. Large scale space application and technological experiments can be carried out on the space station. With the manned space station to be maintained, updated, it is able to be expanded to a permanent manned vehicle in LEO. China will further advance space technology and promote capabilities in space resource exploration, making the contribution to peaceful use of space resources and exploration of the deep space. Chinese government established a development strategy for lunar exploration, including orbiting, landing, and re-entry. China have successfully launched Chang'e 1 and Chang'e 2 satellites, making important achievements and successfully achieving the goals of lunar orbiting exploration. The following exploration is in progress. Some space experts of China have proposed a manned lunar landing project after realizing the strategy of a manned space program and unmanned lunar exploration. The CMSEO has organized the research of concept and technologies of manned lunar landing. Now it is conducting a pre comprehensive pre-study about it. After building of the space station, a possible target of a manned space flight is a manned lunar landing. Currently, China doesn't have a specific, specific plan of a manned lunar landing. The manned space program and the unmanned Lunar exploration will lead technology foundation for manned lunar landing. 
The conclusion is, the purpose of China to develop manned space engineering course is to exploit the universe and make peaceful use of outer space for the benefit of mankind. China is willing to engage in international cooperation on the basis of mutual respect, equality, and mutual benefit. The CMSU is willing to have exchanges with other space agencies in the world, actively explore and have international cooperation in building, operation, and production of space station. Thus, making joint efforts to advance world space technology and making contributions to the peaceful use of outer space and for the benefit of the whole world. Thank you. I feel very sorry because we have uh, another appointment. So if you have any uh, questions, I think we can exchange ideas in the uh, exhibition hall, maybe after the appointment, okay? Thank you. <laughs>